Hello, my name is Alpacapin. This is part 9 of Call of Cthulhu. Last episode, we were in someone else's body, then we came out of her body, and then we got threatened with a gun, and now we're breaking into an office. Now, breaking and entering is a crime. We'd be in, in trouble with our friend Bradley if anybody saw us, so we should try to be as discreet as possible. Speaking of trouble, there's someone in even more trouble. That? Oh, that's locked. Okay. Let's find another door. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her. Yes. Speaking of which, the one in trouble would be Colden. She's in pretty bad shape, from what I could tell. She got stabbed with a giant syringe by Fowler. So, um... Oh. I wonder if he'll notice if I just run past. Oh! Safe. Why do I keep crouching? Oh my god. No! Oh, no! Uh, oh. What the hell? My god. What, what is happening to me? Um. Okay. Well, the basement is barred by some unknown entity. The Mark of Cthulhu. Everything else is... What? Uh, okay. You know what? Let's just follow this trail. What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. I think that's what's happening. Nothing's bad. Nothing bad's gonna happen if we just keep following these, right? I'm sure it doesn't mean us any harm. It might look ugly and scary, but maybe that's just how it looks, you know? You know, I just realized. I think we're running in circles. Yeah. Alright, time to take a detour. The entire place is empty. And we keep running in circles. What is going on? I demand answers! Yeah, what the hell? Oh. I need to switch lamps. Is that right? Damn it! I've been playing too much Pokemon. What happened? Something has changed, but what? Oh, this is pretty. You have a purple lantern. Let's try. Okay, well, the mark's no longer there. It's been replaced with fog. I'm not sure which one's better. Honestly. What's this? Uomo Delinquente. We read this yesterday. Well, both lanterns are here. Can't we just hold both? If you could hold both, everything would be solved. Oh, that's it? We were literally just supposed to switch lanterns, open the door, and then switch back. I'm a thmart. The trail leads to something on the shelf right here. Oh, no. Through the shelf. Increase the lamp's brightness by- ooh. This isn't a lamp, this is a headlight. Okay, Mr. Leviathan. A please would be nice. Ah! So now we can battle the darkness? Nope. We're gonna run out of oil by then. Oh, it doesn't seem like we run out of oil, we just... Oh no. Whatever, man. Yeah, this is someplace new. We didn't get transported back to the very beginning. But I still don't like it. What? Yeah, okay. It's 
switch lanterns. Damn it! Too much Pokemon, man. Okay, let's open this door. Are there any other doors? Just have me open all the doors at once before I switch. That would make this process so much faster. Alright, what do you want me to look for in here? What do you need me to see, Leviathan? I don't like the, that sound. <sighs> oh, maybe this. The detective has a knack for crawling into dark places. Oh. Okay. What is this? Oh, right. I have to use the, the brightness thingy. It is trapped. Alright, where do we need to go now? Oh, might that be the bathroom? What? But it goes through, doesn't it? Damn you. Oh, there's something here. Medicine and Secret Sciences. This very interesting book aimed at a wide public demonstrates how non-recognized sciences have influenced modern medicine. Magnetism, grandma's secrets, Chinese acupuncture, hypnosis, herbal medicine, alchemy, and many others have contributed to a certain extent to the enrichment of medicine at the beginning of this century. A lot of medicine books. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay. Darkness. Um. Switch lanterns before you get eaten. Oh, this place is open now. What? Oh, okay. The bathroom is over there. I thought the entire hospital got remodeled. This must be the kitchen. What a grimy place. Just a big stew pot. Nasties. I wonder what kind of slush they're cooking up in there. Uh, kitchen? No, that's on the other side. Right? Going outside now, this is cheating! Go outside, I can't go outside with you! Oh, that's not outside. That is... That monster sounds like he's in this room. You know, what? As long as nothing jumps out at me, I'm okay. I could live with it. Oh. Okay. Creepy crawlies. Is he in this room or the next room? Just don't jump at me. I'm in like a like a screamy mood, you know. <laughs> okay, get this thing quickly. What? You are confronting powers that surpass you. You know nothing of which you speak. And so which one is it? All right, let's take let's take this lamp for now. Nah, we always switch to the other one, so might as well just go there to begin with. But what I think we're doing is we're trapped in this this alternate reality, this other dimension and we have to get rid of all of these marks to decrease his power cthulhu's power to the point that we can break free from it that's what i think's happening where's this where's this blue light coming from oh from my lamp uh please pretty please 
Oh boy. I think there's two. This is back to Fuller's office. Okay, if we can't access it from here. What are you so out of breath for? Oh! This lamp is drained by darkness. And if it's out, I, I think bad things happen. Okay. Bad things happen. We need lamp. We should hurry. I didn't realize it was draining. I thought it was just because I was, uh, beaming it at everything. Alright, so this is life. This is like... How back in, in elementary school you can't touch the floor because it's lava? Yeah, well this is that. Oh. No, we don't need to beam at it. We're back in the bathroom. Why would we need to be here? We wouldn't. Ah. Really? You made me run the whole way just to open a door? Come on. I'm still so curious about what would happen if we held both of the lanterns at once. If we were in both dimensions, we could just... We could do everything. We'd become God. Basically. Oh, I was focused on the fact that my light just went out. Uh, that's my defense. Basically. Oh, I told you, man. I'm in a jumpy mood. I just woke up. Not ready for this shit. Now, what happened? Did we get the mark? I don't even remember where we got attacked. Now, where is that mysterious light that guides me? Help. I'm lost without you. Just on this? Oh, the big one. Where are we? Does that mean we're finally ready for this? Ah! Be gone. It looks like things are back to normal. That's what it seems, detective. But are you certain? Yeah. Into the depths once more. Ah, uh, don't worry. Don't worry, Colden, I'm coming. I don't remember this hallway. What? I entered through double doors. Someone's singing too. Do we just Are these even doors? They're they're asylum cells. What's going on? It never ends. The never-ending hallway with lights, and then the lights are gonna shut off, and then they're gonna come closer to me. This is classic horror. I'm ready. Just keep running, detective. And it seems like every, every so often we're kind of teleporting a little bit. That must be the loop restarting. We'll wait for it to restart. Okay. Now we'll go the other way. Unless it just snaps again. Yeah. Oh. Wait, but that's me. Damnation. That's... That's me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> and the, the window's gone. The door's gone. I gotta, I gotta get out. His claustrophobia is kicking I in, got, but I don't uh, know how to get you out. I'm sorry. Just deep breaths. Deep breaths. Sit down. Deep breaths. Did that actually help? <laughs> oh, it's Colden. I'm just gonna run straight to you. Pierce, I found her. I finally know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. Does that mean you're dead? It is already too late for me. No. Colden. <laughs> what's Wait, what? going on? 
We're, we're Was in darkness again. Hallucination? I don't think this is hallucination, detective. Oh no. Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. No. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. Oh my god. What'd you do to her? Uh. No, it can't be. No, you son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. Stab him with whatever he had. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Should do whatever the hell he did to her to him. Murderer! This madness must stop. Ooh. Do it. Do it! What the hell? He's a zombie. Colden? What? But she's still here. So sorry. I tried to come, I did. But then powers bigger than me stopped me. And then endless hallway. <sighs> Damn it. Darkness again. Never mind. Maybe we're already drugged. Maybe we're still in the asylum and never escaped. Maybe we were always in the asylum and it, we, this detective story is just something that we made up. Was that a painting of when he first discovered that ritual they were performing? Ooh, he turned around to look at you. Don't go, Pierce. Don't go into the light. Into the blood. Oh my goodness. Feet and arms and limbs and appendages and who knows what else. The rats were probably eating them too. Bleh. Who are you? Still alive. What did they do to you? Can you speak? Do you have something to show her? Oh, that's her boy's toy. Oh no. Poor thing. He gave him the gold and I the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. It comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. 
He always knows these things when it's about me. Huh? <laughs> Valid sand requirements. Um. Yeah, let's try this one, and here's to hoping it doesn't crash the game. <laughs> I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. <sighs> All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. Does she know the way? Okay. It was in your studio. What? You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. She sounds very... Very rushed, but... What the... Oh no! Hey! There. What? What do I do? Get... God damn it. <laughs> no! I wasn't supposed to run out like that! Oh, God damn it. Now we gotta... In your studio. Now we gotta watch this what? whole part again. You painted me. Okay, Sarah. What do we do? How do we do this? What the? Oh no! Oh, she already ran. Damn it, Sarah! That's cheating. Okay. Okay. What, Sarah? Run faster! Run faster! You're not the one in the back. This is the boiler room. How does she know the layout of this place so well? Wait! The machine. It's the green. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! So everyone on this island's a bit cranky because of this machine. Fuller. What are you doing? What the hell? This must be it. The lever? Stop it? No. Okay. Well, let's help her with this. Can't move it. You're not I'd be strong. better off finding a tool. Right. Just like Colden. You need a monkey wrench, detective. Let's get a brighter light. Oh, hello. Perfect. Oh, a poker. Damn it. If it's not good for living beings, we're all right. That should do it. Let's move. We're practically bathing in it. Uh oh. your wife. I'm your puppet no more. You bastard. Ew. You're my wife. My wife. You owe me obedience. She owes you nothing. You ugly bastard. Where's the poker you had? Alone. We're leaving this crazy island. Oh. You are going nowhere. Ew. Don't get Yeah, get the poker. Nobody tells me what to do with my wife. Stab him with it. Yeah, smack him. Beat the shit out of him. How dare you? God damn. The tentacles give him giving him superpowers. Oh. No. Why should I let you take her away? When I could snap your neck. You're incapable of protecting her. You have no future with her. Uh, uh, uh. You're incapable of protecting her. 
All you did for her safety was throwing her in this rat hole. <coughs> I hid her well enough. I found her. You let Fuller play with her. Stop. I did everything I could to protect her. But her identity, her power, is what threatens her. What? Sarah has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. I've seen. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? She hurt you, it doesn't matter. She has been trapped here for a month. Let's try this one. She's weak, physically and mentally. Do not make the mistake of thinking she's a feeble woman. Sarah has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Darkwater, she would still hear his call. Talking about and Cthulhu? the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Oh, I probably shouldn't say his name. Then we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power. And the world will fall with her! Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny, they say. But I will change it. I will save Sarah. But at least he still loves her. Oh! Oh my god. Holy shit. God damn. Oh, where'd that come from? I think he was onto something though. If she's dangerous, should she really leave? Actually, if the whole world was at stake, wouldn't killing her be the best option? I know that sounds insensitive, but... Oh, we're back here. That's her boy's grave. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. Uh oh. She began showing me things, things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? Oh, because that tentacle face painting was hers. I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's where her shoe came off. That's what started the fire. Stop. 
Stop, drop, and roll! Roll, you fool! And he's the one that ran out. What about the boy? What about the boy? What happened to the boy? Who is this? Silas. Oh no. How could you not see the boy? <sighs> Simon. Come on. It's over now. The tentacle monster again. Ew. <laughs> We're always waking up in the same place. In the face of everything we've seen, at least this is a sight to behold. There's someone here. Who are you? Silas. No. Bradley. It's weird seeing you without your hat on. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you, Pius. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Dr. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you had any news? Let's tell him the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? What are you it? trying to say? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug full of... I swear I'll shoot Good. him. Do that. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? All the way. Fuller will pay the price. It's not for us to decide. His grief clouds his judgment. The nature of their relationship. Marie Colden would not have wanted that. She's dead, though. Let's try this. Have no fear, Bradley. Dr. Fuller will not escape the clutches of destiny for long. Sooner or later, he will be judged for what he has done. You just need to have faith. What are you talking about? What's this story of destiny? No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to wait for some mystical intervention. I'll take care of him. Myself. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh, the voice of reason, Pierce. As always. I think we handled that as best we could. Alright, well, going down will be for next episode. This episode's dragged on for quite a while, we've seen a lot of shit. I hope. We've made some choices along the way. I don't know whether or not they're good or bad. And a lot of them have said, this will change your destiny up in the left-hand corner, which I know my beautiful face is blocking, but yeah. I hope we get a good ending. There are four endings, I, I believe. Um, yeah. I feel like we're getting close to it. We're getting close to the meat of things. But like I said, it's going to be for next episode. Thanks for watching. See ya.